As a caregiver, you know the importance of keeping your loved one happy and healthy. But who else needs tender, loving care? You. If your life isn't comfortable, happy, and under control, most likely your loved ones won't be either. As a caregiver, you may already be feeling the symptoms of caregiver, caregiver burnout. burnout. Please know that all these symptoms are common and that you can overcome them by paying attention to your own worth and by simply taking care of yourself. Even though caregiving has changed your life, you need to find time to engage in your own meaningful activities and build them into your weekly schedule. Hey Julie, it's Constance. Maintain a social life. Friends and other family members will be important listeners and allies. Don't be afraid to ask them for help. You might be surprised at who steps forward and how much they have to offer. Also, if he or she is able, and if it's appropriate, bring your loved one along to social gatherings. Teresa, I'll be back. I'm going to go for my walk. I'll see you in about an hour. Bye. Just as your loved one needs exercise, nutritious food, and proper rest, so do you. Find ways to get the right amount of aerobic and weight-bearing movement for yourself. Enjoy a balanced diet, and if your nighttime sleep is interrupted, try to nap during the day. Also, keeping a personal care log that records your diet, sleep patterns, and exercise is a good way for you and your doctor to track your progress as a caregiver. Don't forget to pamper yourself now and then. A massage, manicure, pedicure, or a haircut can give you a nice emotional lift. Attending a spiritual practice or church, or even just a contemplative walk in nature may help you find peace and acceptance and may renew your spirit. Who knows your caregiver's life better than other caregivers? That's why being in a support group with others going through the same experiences as you might be a great source of comfort and inspiration. These support groups are generally moderated by a social worker, psychologist, or gerontologist. Or the moderator role is rotated among the group members themselves. It's a safe, non-judgmental place where you can express grief, fear, guilt, anger, and loss. And it's also a place to find useful resources and ideas for coping. Organizations like Family Caregiver Alliance, or your local agency on aging are good places to contact in your search for an appropriate support group. Hi, Dr. Lee. If you feel you need extra help, such as professional counseling, your doctor or one of the organizations I just mentioned can provide you with such a referral. Your doctor can also offer medications that can help with sleep or depression. Sometimes you may need a break to be away from your loved one in order to work or simply have more personal time. After all, you have a life too. You're looking for what's called respite care. In this case, your options are paid in-home help, adult day programs, and paid out-of-home respite. Hi, Jimmy. How are you? Good, how are you doing? Uh, pretty good. You can find an in-home help person through community Enjoy. boards, word of mouth from friends, or from agencies which handle persons specifically trained to provide services to your loved one. Anything from simple companionship to assisting with toileting, to feeding or bathing. Adult day programs provide your loved one safe and appropriate socializing for usually four to eight hours a day. Daily activities often include art, music, games, exercise, discussions, and one or two meals. Your loved one has the option of attending every day or just certain days. Adult day programs are often found in churches, community centers, and even hospitals. Out-of-home respite care is offered by many assisted living communities, Alzheimer's facilities, and nursing homes for time frames ranging from three days to three weeks. Here your loved one can get assistance with all ADLs or activities of daily living on a 24-7 basis. It's a way for you to take a longer break or vacation knowing that your loved one is getting care from a trained staff. 
For both adult day programs and out-of-home respite options, contact Family Caregiver Alliance at www.caregiver.org for referrals. So educate yourself as much as possible about your loved one's condition. The more you know, the better you'll be able to deal with it. Finally, remember that if you take things one day at a time and offer yourself the same patience, understanding, and care that you're trying to give your loved one, you will both benefit. <laughs>